Hey guys, so the last video I'm going to make is why Modern Masters reprinting matters and this one is a very important video to me. I own most of the modern staples. Um, there's not many modern staples I don't currently own. I do not own a playset of Tomogorys at this time. I own one for my deck, my EDH deck, and that's it. I do not own a playset of Spell Skites or Noble Hierarchs. I don't actually own a single one of those two. And the reason modern reprints are good for everybody, not just the players who don't own them, is it's highly unlikely you own every single card in Modern Masters. Very unlikely. Um, that being said, there's always, when a card goes down in price, like a Noble Hierarch, and you've been waiting for that, I actually have a friend who spends a lot of money on Standard, and uh, sometimes his deck actually appeared on this channel as the, uh, his deck was the Bant Planeswalkers deck, uh, which was a fun deck to play with. And he spends a lot of money in Standard, and he's trying to get into Modern, but even him, like even him with a salary, with a job, with a car, being an adult, he is not going to buy Noble High Arc for what they're currently sitting at. Because that's beyond ridiculous. In my opinion, a Noble High Arc or a Goblin Guide, or any of these cards that are going to be reprinted, I look at them and I say to myself, how did they ever get to that price? Um, some of these price Fuminator maids, uh, I mean the list can go on and on. Cryptic Man, Vendillion Click is back at 70. Uh, Bob is somehow stuck at 80. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's not seeing any play at all, but the speculators are inflating his price. Uh, keeping price memory and stuff like that. Reprints are good for everybody. Not just good for players, who don't own the cards. They're good for players who actually own the cards because in my opinion, if you truly are a collector, you're happy to get more of those cards. And one of the cards I had a vast collection of was Basana. Basana was a, I mean, she's just a very gorgeous card. And I collected her and her price started spiking like crazy and then she got a reprint in Commander. Uh, Commander, I, even, I forgot what that set was. Some Commander set. And, oh, Conspiracy, that's why I'm confusing with Commander. And that was amazing. Or when Scavenging Ooze, I owned that card too. I could not wait for them to be reprinted because that meant foils and that meant I could get the uh, alternative promo art, which I preferred over the regular art. The same with uh, Tomogorf, the same with, that's how people who have these cards should feel. They should be like, oh, cool, I have one Tomogorf. Or I have three Tomogorfs. I can go ahead and get another Tomogorf to get my playset. They shouldn't feel like, oh no, crap, I have three Tomogorfs, my price is going down, now I'm going to complain about it. But that's what people are, like, that's what people are doing. Like, you should be excited that you can make your playsets of Tomogorfs. Even if you had a playset of Tomogorfs, maybe you don't have a playset of Noble Hierarchs. I believe you can appreciate the ability to pick up cards you do not have, even if cards you do have go down in price. And that's one of the biggest uh, takeaways hopefully from this video is that if you have these cards it's not the end don't worry about it if your Tomogoy gets reprinted if your Vendillion Click gets reprinted if your Splinter Twin gets reprinted reprinted don't worry about it because at the end of the day there's plenty of other cards you can pick up and that might sound like unwise advice if you're in Magic to make money but if you're in Magic to play the game which Honestly, you should be instead of making money because you can do a ton of other stuff at the same time period with the same investment and make way more money in magic cards. You should feel happy. You should feel happy that more players can play the game. You should feel happy that you can get play sets of cards you do not currently have that are staples. And you can get different artworks. You can get foils. Let's say you have a regular play set of Tom Gorse and you want to upgrade to foil ones. Well, now it's cheaper and it's, more e it's easier to get due now, hopefully, uh, depending on the reprint amount. But um, I've never believed, I don't believe that we should complain about reprints even if we have the card. I feel like we should be happy they're reprinting cards so mo more players can play the game with us. And that's a new belief, a relatively recent belief I picked up from how modern is being portrayed. 
Uh, mod name's not legacy, and thank thankfully it's not legacy. And the cards that need to be reprinted will be reprinted time and time again, and that's fantastic in my opinion. And that's why reprinting is so important, is because it brings people, it brings the level, the cost of magic cards down to a level that even my friend who is extremely he spends a lot of money in standard. He can, but he cannot picture himself buying a playset of Hierarchs. Now he can. And he's going to go ahead and make the Poison deck. He's excited about it. And that's how it should be. Because now my, I can play my using my um, American Delver deck against his Infect deck. And there's one more player who I like playing against who plays modern now. Because he can afford the cards he needs to afford. Uh, and that, in my opinion, uh, whenever you can increase the player base of a format, uh, you should. You should absolutely try. Bye, guys.